What is going on everyone? Welcome to a series of videos that I'm going to call the Instagram Slowdown. Um, during this time, we're going to slow down and take some deep looks into some of the really cool photography that's out there. I, I've been teaching photography for a while and one of the things that uh, I know I do and my students do all the time is we just scroll through Instagram or whatever platform you're on. You know, um, we go through it so fast because we're bored, we're just skipping through and we get overwhelmed sometimes with the number of really amazing images out there. What's really instructive and what's good for your photography career would be to slow down, take some time to look at why a photo works or maybe why it doesn't, and then take some lessons home to use yourself. Uh, Vanessa, I reached out and she was kind enough to allow me to, to do this with her, uh, her account. And it's really, really one of my favorite accounts out there. Um, she doesn't have a ton of photos here, but they are really, really excellent. Um, if you scroll down, you start seeing a consistent um, theme, a th consistent color palette. Really awesome work. Um, this is stuff that I envy. Anyone who knows me knows I travel around Nebraska in the Midwest and I find abandoned homes and places and just cool cityscapes and um, I photograph them. And Vanessa is an account that I really look up to. When I go through her account, one of the photos that I stop and look at a lot is this one right here. Um, and I have it pulled up right, right over there. Um, this is just a stunning photograph, if you ask me. Uh, one of the things that I like to, to teach my photography students is about movement and how you can actually train someone's eyes who's looking at your photo to move throughout the photograph or to go to a certain spot. There are many ways to do that. Um, and in this photograph, my favorite part about it is the sweeping um, movement from the bottom right corner all the way through. We catch ourselves in the hills there and we come back to the house, all right? Um, all of the grass here is kind of tilted over here to the left. We have this green contrast here and that kind of pushes us over here. We keep going all the way back around this tree and this house. Uh, it just looks incredible. The house is also placed right in an area of contrast. So it really stands out the dark house against the really bright sky way in the back. Um, and then these dark clouds also push us down into the middle. When our eyes are looking at photos, we go kind of away of the dark. Uh, we go away from the dark areas toward areas of brightness. So there are a couple of different elements that are making us look right here. We can't stop looking at it. Um, it's got high depth of field so we can see detail everywhere. Um, it's really moody. You know, when you see an abandoned house, you know, there's a mystery about it. And when you look at a photo like this with the really cool um, storm clouds, the dark sky, it, 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 it enhances that kind of mystery and that kind of feel. Um, so I, I just really love looking at this. I could tell a story just by looking at this. Um, I can imagine people living on this landscape. And I think that's really successful. I want to try to get down a little bit lower, um, like Vanessa did on this one, and try to get a little bit more of the foreground and see if I can do this with the hills. Um, it's something that I don't do very often. I get pretty close to my um, houses if I can. And um, I, this just proves how successful this is. Also, this is another example of a photo that would be, um, you know, it's cool no matter what, but man, this sky just doubles the impact of the photograph for me. Um, so Vanessa, thank you for letting me look at your photograph. Um, I love your account. You have such incredible stuff. Um, there's just this feel to everything here. This um, feeling of mystery. And um, at the same time, this warmth of, of this kind of a landscape, right? Um, and I love what you do. So thank you very much. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this every so often. I'm going to go through and look at some really awesome photographs that are out there. Thanks a lot.